Good evening, everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam. And in this tutorial series, we are learning about the OTBI reporting tool. And in our previous session, we have seen so many important things that comes under the OTBI. And today's video is going to be focused on explaining the anatomy of dashboard, what components are part of the dashboard, and typically what is the structure of the dashboard, etc. And in our upcoming videos, we will going to create or design our dashboard. So the question comes, what is dashboard? So a dashboard is basically a visual display of the most important information as it provides consolidation and arrangement of all the information on a single screen or at one place from where the information can be easily monitored at a glance. This is about the dashboard. So then question comes why we need dashboard. So as uh, you uh, as we we do have different otbi analysis that you may have created in and we all uh, want to see everything at one place that's why the main this is the main uh, use case of the dashboard that uh, whatever analysis we have created in this otbi series we want to see all of them together at one place so to see all of the analysis you have created and obviously all those uh, analysis are logically connected analysis as we don't want to have different analysis from different subject areas are coming together into one dashboard we can have different analysis belonging to different subject areas in uh, within a single place or in within a single dashboard but uh, does it make sense that uh, different uh, subject areas belonging uh, different analysis belonging to different subject areas we merge them all together and uh, uh, display within a single dashboard so does it make sense that uh, 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 we we will uh, we will mesh with uh, procurement uh, with hr and fixed assets gl when we combine all these different subject areas and show within a single dashboard so does it make sense no so the answer is no whatever analysis are presented in the dashboard should be logically connected or related analysis so that it will going to tell us the complete or clear story about that particular business process so this is basically the main purpose of dashboard and here i have uh, prepared this one so this is basically and uh, uh, a kind of dashboard which contains some graphical representation like it it is having a bar chart uh, it is having it it have it has pie chart bar graph uh, or more specifically a horizontal graph this is basically the vertical bar graph and uh, this is uh, our tabular representation so these kind of representation we can have in our dashboard and this is how our dashboard will look like and next uh, uh, like uh, one more thing i want to show you here here uh, these are the, the examples of dashboard like uh, what kind of dashboard we can create or design in our analysis like here I have mentioned some examples over here like we have management KPIs uh, so uh, what kind of information does this uh, management KPIs display it represents the performance of the management in in an organization next we have a uh, financial KPI so KPI is basically stands for key performance indicator. So next we have a financial KPI. So it keeps track of all the cash related transaction take place in an organization. 
next we have hr dashboard so this uh, dashboard is basically represent all the information about the hr like how many employees are there what kind of benefits an organization is providing them uh, so all uh, all the information related to employees and their benefits there uh, is uh, basically represented with uh, in the hr dashboards next we, we have it project management dashboard so it keeps track of all the project related activities in which an organization has been engaged next we have web analytics dashboard so this dashboard basically a dashboard which monitors the performance about the websites like uh, uh, the page visitor site visitors page view etc all these uh, information can be represented with the help of this web analytics dashboard next uh, i have prepared a typical structure of the dashboard over here so that it uh, will provide us uh, a complete understanding about the dashboard so here basically the dashboard uh, in the dashboard dashboard we have pages we can have one page or we can have more than one pages and in these pages we can have columns we can have column or we can have columns more than one columns and uh, in these columns we can have section or multiple sections we can have in these columns and the sections contains the contents like uh, uh, content belongs to whatever content we want to represent in our dashboard like uh, uh, we are representing the tabular content or we are providing some text over here or we are providing some links whatever content we want to represent we can uh, uh, represent uh, under the, these content section so this is basically the structure of dashboard uh, under dashboard we have pages under pages we have columns and columns uh, we uh, under columns we can have sections and the sections contains the contents so this is uh, the typical structure of the dashboard and uh, this is uh, all about uh, the introduction or overview of the dashboard or an anatomy of the dashboard uh, and in our uh, upcoming uh, sessions i am going to create and design dashboard as this uh, session basically contains the introduction or overview of the dashboard as i want to show uh, or uh, tell you what is dashboard uh, uh, and what kind of dashboards we can create uh, and uh, what is the structure of the dashboard and uh, how the dashboard will look like this session is uh, all about uh, the anatomy of the dashboard and uh, this is all about our today's session and we'll continue in our upcoming sessions and this is all about today thank you everyone for watching